Luciana Lira out of Stanford, Connecticut at the Heart Magnet Elementary School. Um, Luciana Lira has been a bilingual ESL teacher for Spanish at Heart Magnet Elementary School for six years. She works with a diverse group of students, many of whom are part of underrepresented families. Not only does she help educate students, but she also provides support for families by working with the school's administration, as well as a team of social workers to ensure the students are getting what they need. Luciana often arrives to work very early or stays late in order to meet with parents when they are available outside of work. Her colleagues describe her as someone who's always, who always goes above and beyond, jumping in whenever she's needed. While that in itself is deserving of an award, Luciana, Luciana recently made a split decision that will change one life's family forever. One of her students and, uh, and his family, and a few of his family members, oh wow, one of her students and a few of his family members recently contracted COVID-19, including the mother who was about to give birth. Who won? With the entire family, including her student in the hospital, when the baby was born, Luciana stepped in to take the newborn in as if it was her own. She has had the baby in her care for more than a month while the baby's mother...
who would be able to help me. So I stepped in and I said, yes, sure, I'll, I'll definitely take care of your newborn son for one or two days. But now it's been 33 days. <laughs> I don't even know, like, that's like, that's something that I could have never seen coming, uh, and just, wow, you are an incredible human being, you are beyond a human being, that's, that's and you already have children of your own, that's a, that's a, what, what's it like having a newborn again? Air nine months when you're pregnant and your house is ready and you have maternity leave. You <laughs> don't have maternity leave. You have to work full time. It's a pandemic out there. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I, I'm getting a lot of help from my school, from my teacher friends, the principal, the assistant principal, the social worker, Mrs. Stanton, all the teachers. You know, Lucy Centora, my friends. They're all helping, you know, distance learning. I can't really be near them and they can't be near me, but they're giving me a lot of support. And I believe um, God is also giving me a lot of strength Amen. to help this family and me. And I am proud, you know, I'm very proud to have received that call from that mom that day. And I'm proud I stepped in and I said, yes, I will help you. Did you know that? And I'm still here helping, and I really want all the parents. Whatever you need, please, please count on us. We teach because we love, and it's really a call. It's a call we got from God, or I don't know. But when you decide to become a teacher, you decide to give yourself a hundred percent to your students, and that's what I've noticed with everybody that is a teacher. We're teachers, we give ourselves to our students, we give ourselves to their families, and I'm so proud they were able to count on me and call me to step up to the task of taking care of that newborn baby. We didn't think it was gonna be 30 something days, but you know what? I'm still here, I'm still helping. As soon as they test negative, the baby will go back to their house, well, we'll go to their house because mom doesn't know the, her own son yet, you know? But I'm just nervous, but I'm very excited to be here, and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I've got to say it one more time. Thank you for gracing all of us with your presence. That is, you are a reflection of Jesus. It's uh, a crazy thing to be. Uh, it's just a. It's just a crazy thing. Over all in all, like I'm literally floored right, right now. Uh, I just, I just can't even. Uh, put in the words how great to that up to somebody that you met through your job and we talk often about how much you know I, I read something that did it's just been on an average uh, five hundred dollars out of their own pockets every year just just designing their classroom just putting their classrooms together um, and, and I and I and I I know that's the that's the low that's the low end of it. But for you to uh, to open your home to a newborn child of of, uh, of one of your students' families in, in the midst of a global pandemic is just uh, otherworldly. And I'm just uh, I'm just we're just all so I, we can't hear them, but we can feel them. Everybody. Uh, that's watching us right now from their home is just either on the verge of tears or just clapping as loud as they can for you. Uh, Twilight Awards, and you just gave us um, so much more credibility to be able to, to be in the presence of teachers like you um, is, a, is a crazy happening. And uh, uh, I think it's I think it's about time to to uh to to announce it everybody from home if we could get a little pat on your knees drum roll <laughs> Ms. Lyra, you are the first recipient of the 2020 twilight award Not only do you win an award, 
but you also won the cash prize of fifteen thousand dollars. Woo! Oh, not only that, Miss Lyra, but you've also just won an additional fifteen thousand dollars directly to your school, Heart Magnet in Step. Woo! -hoo! Last thing, one one last last little extra thing. If I'm correct. I just received a message from Box Tops for Education that they would appreciate if if they could provide uh, a free laptop and free internet access for the family that was affected. Oh, by awesome! Thank you so much. Tell oh, me, so me friends. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, you. God bless you. Thank you, you too. It was so nice to meet you, Miss Lear. Truly, bless my day. So thank you. Thank you for all you do. Oh, no. Uh, you're inspiring me, so I, I appreciate it. Oh, that was all you got, Yeah.